What's up, future fighters? We are back. We're going to jump right into the equation. Um, this is video number two from today's series. You can go back to the first video on the Making a Future Fighter playlist and watch the introduction to this. And the key component right now that we are going to introduce is a part of an equation that I kind of wrote down the pseudo code uh, for myself uh, earlier. And we, it's about adding on to the opponent's sprite edge um, to what we currently have. And so this will give us a better estimate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start moving this stuff over to my other screen so you can see uh, what we are currently working with and working on. And these are going to be custom sprite settings that we are setting. <laughs> and we're working with uh, this short range strike one distancing right now. It's just a place to start uh, to test our theories and equations out on. And we've already input, uh, we've already given the, the parameters, past the parameters that we need uh, to that to, to, See how this equation here, which is where we're going to work. And you can go back to last week's videos to see that, how we got here. Now, so we've got this frame distance. Um, so, and that's calculated from, from all of these. And um, and the distance to the edge of sprites, so it takes into account the the character Shadow AI is controlling and the move that they're doing, which is that move right there, which is this move, this jab move here. And now we have to take into account the distances on the opponent, and so that is a little bit that's a little bit different. Because um, it's data that um, at runtime we won't have, so uh, so that data will have to be one or two things. It has to be calculated once everything is loaded, or um, it can be calculated in real time based on the sprite that the opponent is currently in when the move is um, selected to be executed. Um, I've been basically just basing everything off of um, the standing sprite um, when I've done this uh, manually, which you've seen me do. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of put go here and, I'll, and then I push this and I see that with a distance is from the opponent you know, 301. So that if I'm at 301 or so, I'm not going to be able to make it. But if I go to 274, I can. So the real distance, the real maximum distance I can be away is between 274 and 301. And so you know, you just you find you can titrate it. Um, you just gradually you can gradually move back a little bit. You see, oh, does 294 work? Yeah, it does. So, and then that that could be a pretty good estimate. You could just put that in. But I want to have that. Um, I want to have that auto calculated by the, the Shadow AI. Um, and so, what we have to do then is we have to find. Uh, um, so, what we have to do is we'll see here. Um, we'll have to give that we'll have to make that setting for each character and then have the way the game loads right now have the have the other character set it um, set it at the end that's a kind of a clunky way to do it I'm not really I'm not really too thrilled about that um at all. So, so 
there's another way to do it. We can add it to uh, the shadow AI when it loads up. That's a better that's a better way to do it. Um, that is going to be that is definitely going to be the easier way to do it. So uh, we'll 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 add a term. So you'll have auto strike distance. So short range strike one. Oh, sorry, you guys can't see that. <laughs> sorry, short range initiator distance is right here. Two eighty one uh, was my manual difference, and this is going to be replaced by um, this. I don't like doing that. And I always just kind of save that kind of information and go like that. And then that will be added to, let's see if I pass the opponent. No, I just passed my ID. So it's going to look like this. Just need that variable for opponent ID. I think it's V opponent ID. I think, but you know, always want to. I I always copy and paste things. I never try and type it out uh, when I don't have to. And then this is going to be some variable, um, which is going to be um, I wonder if I have stand fighting stance. The fighting stance uh, edge of sprite center distant uh, center center to edge of sprite distance. And that can be calculated on the custom sprite settings, which we will do next. Excellent. So we'll do that uh, next. If you like what you are watching, and there's another video being uploaded right now, go to docbrockgames.com and check out the alpha version of the game. You can see what features I currently have in the game. You can see the two characters I currently have motion captured, motion captured from my own martial arts experiences, created, well, created his design um, from my imagination based on his body type and armor and mentality, uh, but created, but, but uh, Omega's fighting style is my fighting style. You are getting the way I spar every week uh, on Sundays <laughs> uh, in the game. And you can you can see those characters' motion capture moves and features in action uh, below it, and you can put your email address in, and I'll let you know when the game comes out. Then come back to YouTube, and we're gonna finish off this equation and test it. I'll see you then. <laughs>